Hi, I'm Leif from Leif Labs, and I'm going to talk about some more ways that we can use the shapes in the shape set that was described in an earlier video to build useful and interesting things. So in particular, what I'm going to do is use some of these shapes to construct smaller versions of themselves and some other shapes. So the way these are designed is that if I want to make a triangle that's half the size of this triangle or a square that's half the size of this square, they're already kind of built in and it's designed to be straightforward. So if I take this and I want to make a smaller triangle, I do it like that. And then I go here and I complete the triangle. It's simple. There's not much to it, but that is indeed a triangle, which is one half the original size. The same with the square. It's got the smaller square built into it. And I can do this and then use the 90 degree angle of the square here to measure off this other side. And I complete it with a fourth side, again, using the 90 degree angle that I can kind of trace down there and make sure this aligns. And now I've made a square, one half the size of this original square. And now, so this is a three-sided figure, that's a triangle four-sided figure, it's a square, all even with the same angles and the same sides. Now I'm gonna make, so this is called a regular polygon, a regular triangle, a square, and then I'm gonna make a regular pentagon that's smaller. By taking these two shapes and I'm gonna make a smaller golden triangle like this. And then I can complete the pentagon by using one of these triangles that's replicated inside it. So this is the golden gnomon that is made to match up like this. But if I put this like this, there's a smaller one of the same triangle inside it. So I can make a corner here and then I can go over like this, make a corner here, connect that, this, here, and the fifth side, and that's a regular pentagon. So I have an equilateral triangle, a square, and a regular pentagon that are now a size down from where I started. And so this is one of the things we're going to do with these shapes, is you take these shapes, you make smaller versions of themselves. In other videos, I'll make larger versions of themselves, and I'm going to, in the next video, show you how you can use these to construct the platonic solids. Thank you for listening and please make these, color them in and share them so that we can build a community of people making these shapes and sharing them.